Yeah, I mean, the mood has been for quite some time, and even I would say even back to March, that when these allegations came out, we found many of them to be credible. Uh, and, and many of my colleagues, you know, did not see the governor fit to serve as governor anymore. I think now with the AG's report, just such a damning report and, and, and really just clean cut and clear, uh, even my colleagues who were on the fence have now basically come to the agreement that he's no longer fit to serve as governor. So we still have the investigation going. Our, our investigation is a bit broader than the AG's investigation. So ours includes not only the sexual harassment, uh, but looking into issues such as the nursing home data scandal, looking into issues such as his $5 million book deal, uh, even issues with the Mario M. Cuomo Bridge and its actual you know, integrity of the bridge. Yeah, so it's, it's 107 of us, right, in, in the majority conference. Um, so the conversation is really to try and, and speed it up as fast as possible because this is an issue we do not want to drag out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a timeline on what the investigation will take, but we don't need the investigation to file articles of impeachment. Uh, that really just comes down to a decision of the majority of Democrats and, and the speaker. I would say he needs to leave with grace. You know, I, I really do hope and pray that he resigns. I think it'd be a much better situation for him, for us in the legislature. Right now, we really can't afford to have any more distractions uh, in terms of legislating. You know, we, we're still dealing with a COVID-19 pandemic. I still have people who are in need of rental assistance. I have people who are food insecure. These are a lot of issues that we have to deal with on a daily basis. And to now have to deal with an impeachment process would just be you know, more distracting than anything. Majority of the emails that I received, some from in district, some from you know people who just have my email, have pretty much all been against the governor. Um, most of them calls to impeach him. Most of them telling me to you know do my job and 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 you know file the articles of impeachment. Um, so it, it seems to be a pretty pretty consistent uh, tone here that they're pretty much fed up. So at this point, Andrew Cuomo is standing on a ship of one, Andrew Cuomo. Um, so I don't know how you can really recover from this, especially with this timeline, especially with you know, the assembly essentially holds your fate in their, in their hands and there's no more confidence in it.